Hi everybody, welcome to another new video. So in today's video, we'll be talking about four colors from the Supervision CAAM Fern uh, the uh, special separation colors. Uh, why are we doing four colors at one, in, at one go? Because they are fairly similar. So here are the four colors, the Tang Kil, Tang Yao, Wobbler Brown, uh, Ying Cha, Evening Moon, Si Yue, black blue uh, Dai Qing. similarities that the, these four colors have uh, that they are all available as, as half pens they are all light fast which is like awesome they are all made from very similar pigments PB29 a PY43 so these two they, these two pigments are found in all four colors and um, for Si Yue or Evening Noon and blue black Dai Qing they have extra an extra color which is PBR6. I can say that um, these two colors are made from the same pigments but are at a different proportion and same goes for the evening moon and the uh, blue, black blue. They are semi-opaque colors as you can see uh, from this uh, icon and um, true enough when we look at the swatches they do uh, have uh, they are a little bit darker when you use concentrated but not enough to cover up um, the, uh, the, the the fine letterings, so you can still get uh, some. You can still see what you're drawing underneath. The differences lie in the uh, proportion uh, of the mixture of the, the the different paints or different pigments they are made from. So for tank kill, uh, when we look at the water in pigment and uh, pigment in water test, you can see that there's a very fine yellowish pigment that diffuses out like almost immediately and it goes it becomes a very diffuse nice muted yellow color and of course the the, the heavier blue pigment the uh, ultramarine blue does like you know drop down immediately fairly similar colors uh, that you can use would be like um, you can find in Daniel Smith uh, rich green gold and this is the green gold from uh, Schermink uh, so they, you can you can actually mix these two colors together to give you like a, a more granulating version of the green gold. This is how I mixed it, which is the, uh, the ultramarine blue plus the burgundy yellow ochre. But I do find my yellow ochre still not yellow enough. So I don't know what what kind of yellow ochre they use, but the one that they use is really a golden color. So if you can look for one that is more yellow, and the mixes um, they it it just renders everything more like add a brownish tone to almost everything. So for Wobbler Brown, uh, Wobbler Brown is more, has more the ultramarine blue. So the color comes down like darker and more olive green look, look, looking. Um, so if you look at the, uh, you know, uh, similar colors from the Daniel Smith series, it would be like the undersea green or maybe the DS olive green. Not really the undersea because the undersea seem to have even more blue color. And um, my mixture doesn't really seem to look like it at all. Uh, um, probably I need more of that, that, that yellow or maybe my yellow is not yellow enough because this doesn't look yellow enough um, to produce this um, kind of a tone. And similar to what we have seen for the uh, tank kill, the, the color actually adds a lot of the brownish tone to most of the, uh, uh, you know, the single pigment colors. And of course, give you a range of olive greens and a, like a burnt sienna color um, and neutralizes with a purple color. So next we have Evening Moon. So Evening Moon is, um, and that there's an addition of PBR6, which is a more reddish uh, ochre kind of color, red, reddish, like a brown color. And um, it, in the water, in paint, paint in water test, you can see that separation of that, that, that brownish pigment just around those uh, darker pigment, the, the ultramarine blue. And um, it, it gives you a very nice, beautiful separating, granulating effect, which you can probably use, I'm thinking more of like mountains, um, like mountain scene with the mist, misty morning and, and you know, you don't even need to mix color for this. You just need to drop this, like we'll do this wet on wet and you, you will get a very beautiful mountain. Um, so to a similar, similar colors you can get from this series would be like, uh, with this color, uh, would be like the Daniel Smith Vendic Brown. So I find it's a very, fairly close, close match, okay, for the Vendic Brown. Um, it's a mixture of three colors, 
with more, on, I think probably more brown than the other two. Um, and we look at the mixtures, um, of course it makes everything, desaturates everything, makes everything look more brown or darker tone. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think you should use this actively to make stuff. <laughs> so this is bl black blue and this one also has the, has the same pigment uh, mixture as the uh, Evening Moon, except that I think this one probably has got more PB29. Um, and that PBR6 which causes that neutralization and then you get this really dark uh, tone. So it could, there could be like a mixture or like a very uh, equi mixture of, uh, of the blue uh, and, and the brown giving this color. Um, it is a fairly good dupe for the Daniel Smith Bloodstone Genuine. Uh, this Bloodstone Genuine is kind of like a, like a violetish kind of like a, a, a black black color. So when I try mixing it together, these three, um, I, I use more the ultramarine blue and I, I guess I, I, it kind of worked. Uh, yeah, it desaturates everything and uh, it gets, gives everything like this grayish tone. So yeah, I would guess it, you can use it like a say pure, you can use it like a, a lunar black, a lunar violet kind of color to, to make things a little bit more interesting. Because can you see how when it's diluted, uh, when it's you know used on a wet on wet kind of like effect, it, it, the, that, that separation really makes uh, you know the, into different colors, different pigments really makes it very uh, very useful for painting. So let's examine how I use uh, these colors in, in a sketch. Um, I, I use the uh, Tank Hill, which is the uh, lightest color, um, the yellowish color, the, the yellowest color in this uh, shop that is kind of like a yellowish looking or like a yellow green looking color shop. Um, and together with the uh, ultramarine blue, I was able to do this uh, like a shadow, like a dark green color. It's really fairly useful for actually painting plants that's outside the shop. And um, with, with the uh, darker colors, for example, the uh, TPO, I was able to get some of these like a uh, dark shade, you know, like the interior of the shop. The Warbler Brown, uh, I, I think I most probably use it on its own on this Tokyo shop front uh, drawing. Um, and and it is, I uh, didn't really mix much color except probably with the blue and uh, some of the serrated. I think probably the blue over here giving all these uh, dark dark shades in, in the middle. Um, and for Evening Moon, um, it was also just a lot about, uh, uh, most of it about the uh, shop itself, um, probably on this, this part, which is the bookshop over here. And I didn't really mix much of the, co much colors. Yeah, <laughs> just really using this as itself, uh, you know, trying to, to achieve that kind of like the, uh, you know, the wet on wet, the separation, uh, just putting the color, dropping it into water. Black, blue. Um, I, I seriously just just use it on its own like by itself and uh, mix very minimally uh, with the tail blue uh, for some of these uh, you know uh, shop colors um, that are like the turquoise and the bluish colors. These are very uh, easily mixable colors that you can you can have you can you can actually make on your own. So of course I'm sure everybody has got ultramarine blue, right? And um, P P PY43 is kind of easy to, 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 most people should have it in their palette as well. So it could be your raw sienna. Um, you, you can also use burnt sienna for the uh, PBR6. Just go and play around with these three colors and I'm sure you can mix various DV of these. Uh, yeah. So, but if you do need like a convenient mixture, you're really in love with the, the, the I, I think blue back, blue black and evening moons, are, they're actually quite nice. Consider, you can consider getting. So yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up uh, and remember to subscribe and I'll watch um, this space for a new video next week. Right, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.